Hello, I'm using a Studio Press theme that works with the Genesis framework and I want to show you how to add the biographical information you sometimes see underneath blog posts. So I'm on my blog section of the site now. This post was written by another user, not me. <laughs> I call that user another user. Um, that one's another user, it's not me. But this one's written by me. So if I view my blog post and I look underneath it there's a little bit of biographical information about me and we add that in the genus in the settings of your WordPress so we want to go to users your profile and then we scroll down the page there we go about yourself right you don't have to add a title to this section it will automatically be taken from WordPress will automatically find it from the database and it'll say about and then your username so if you for me it might say about Philip if you're called Fred or Sally it'd say about Fred or about Sally you don't have to put that in but you do put in this biographical information now you can use things like bold italic you can add links if you know HTML you can add links to this little section but you're limited in how much HTML you can add if it doesn't like the HTML you add it'll strip that bit out so when you add things into this biographical info section in users your profile it will appear here and it will automatically get your username and it will automatically get your gravatar but this bit you can type yourself and you can put bold italic um, links things like that now there's another box that's one type of box you can add and there's another type now when you're reading a post you'll often see the date and by so it's by me if I click the link there it takes me to my custom arch my, well my archive page that's all the blog posts I've written not just blog post anybody on this site has written but blog posts I've written and this is another box it's a different box so there's two types of boxes and this one's your custom archive box so if we go and have a look at our settings so we're in users your profile I'm going to scroll down again so the section we're in now is our author archive settings and we've got a custom archive headline and a custom description so if we have a look there's the archive a headline and the archive description you can type whatever you want in this one you can actually add your own headline so you can type whatever you like in there you can add HTML again make it bold italic put links if you want or just try just try putting some HTML in and um, if it doesn't like it it'll just strip it out but that appears above the listing of all your blog posts and that's the difference between the two one appears underneath individual blog posts you've made so that's a, a blog post I've written and that's the uh, biographical info box and if I click the link to my archive of all my posts the whole lot of posts I've written you get this other box and they're the two different boxes now there's an important setting that you need to know about so I will go back there if you look underneath here it says author archive settings just below it says author box and this one lets you turn on your author box on posts and archives so let's see what happens this is the archive page and at the moment there's just one box but I can turn on the second box which normally appears under each individual post with this button here so we click that one so we've now we've enabled the author box on the user's posts and the user's archive page. So update and we'll see what's happened. Now there's one box there on the archive page. This is my blog listing for all my blog posts. One box, refresh the page, we've got two. Now I don't like having two boxes there. So I switch that second box off on the archive page. So we'll go back to users your profile scroll down author box and I'm not going to enable it on the archives section 
like that. So now it's just on individual posts. So if we click an individual post I've written, scroll to the bottom, and there it is. Now there's one there's one more post, one more setting I want to show you. It's slightly different, but it's on the same page. So I'll just explain what it is. If we go to my archive page, my listing of all my blog posts, you can add some SEO settings. So we're still in users, your profile. Scroll down. And we're looking for author archive SEO settings. Now this affects just that particular page I was showing you, which is your author archive page. Well, it, it's, a, it's like a blog listing for all your your own personal blog posts. And if you've used your SEO plugin and you know what um, an SEO title and an SEO description for a particular page is, that's what this bit here is. I just thought I'd show you that because it's on the same page. It's a bit off topic, but it's still on the same page. Um, and you thought you might need it, you might find it useful. Right, now I've made a little cheat sheet for you in case you get stuck. So I know it's, it's, it's not always easy to remember what we've done. So if you, when you get to the end of the video, just stop the video at this point, have a look through, have a read through, and it'll tell you all the stuff we've done. There you go. And that's more or less all you need to know. I've made loads more videos, and I'll put a link underneath this video to um, to my site where you can get loads more videos, loads more information about StudioPress and Genesis. Anyway, thanks for watching, and bye for now.